What is going on guys, Chris here, and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I am, and I may be able to make your day a little bit better, because today we have patch notes on the 6.2 update for Battlefield 5 coming Thursday, March 5th. Now, I do want to note that I'm just going to be covering weapon stuff since most people care about that and not really the other stuff in this update. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not going to be explaining every single thing in this patch notes update. Now mostly 6.2 is known as pretty much the TTK revert patch, as most of the weapons will go back to their 5.0 TTK values from 2018 to 2019, as the new TTK 5.2 was a disaster, and nobody really liked it, because it's slow, and pretty much the weapons are, well pretty much the bullets are like sponges, pretty much. So first off, DICE will be maintaining a drop in range damage, but a smaller one than the one used in 5.2 and 5.2.2. And with this, range damage is now also based on the weapon's class, rather than its rate of fire, which is great to hear as well. And finally, you'll notice that weapons do more damage up close, that, and that the experience engaging a player at range is more satisfying, which I hope is true. And if you didn't understand any single word of that, um, to explain this more easily, DICE have said that the ARs and LMGs will hit harder at range than SMGs, with the equivalent rate of fire, and uh, recoil and accuracy values have been adjusted to be consistent with the values used in 5.0, which is also great to hear. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the Type 2A nerf. Um, the Type 2A has been, will be having a substantial increase in recoil to balance it, within the SMG class, which I hope will please many, because ever since this Hell Regal Swami Scorpion combo has been introduced into this goddamn game, it's been ridiculous to go up against, and pretty much 90% of the time you will die, and 10% you will win that gunfight, so hopefully this will make it a little bit harder for those people to use that weapon. Moving on, the bolt action rifles now have a higher muzzle velocity across the board, and pretty much this adjustment will return bold action rifles to be the king of long and very long range combat once again. And also DICE will restore the additional muzzle velocity adjustments for snipers that didn't make it into update 6.0 which was released last month. Which should be a nice gift to all the snipers out there. So pretty much that's the end of all the weapon changes on this patch note. Um, I think they said tomorrow they're going to be like releasing a graph of all the changes to the weapons like bullets to kill so make sure to stay tuned on this channel by subscribing and turning on post notifications. But uh, anyway into the miscellaneous stuff, uh, the bazooka will now one hit kill enemy planes which is nice but I guarantee you it's going to get nerfed because of plane players crying about it so I wouldn't say get your hopes up too much. Um, there is a new audio system in order to reduce occurrence of important sounds being called due to performance limitations. Um, pretty much this means that new audio settings will allow for more controlled and stable behavior for sounds such as vehicles, footsteps, and weapons. Although I haven't really had a problem with the sounds in this game ever since it was released, so yeah. Um, the claim all button has now been fixed, which for some reason has been missing from the armory. Um, and the progression for the Sub Slider 1906 has been fixed, so if you've been having problems leveling it up, uh, this should be fixed now. And finally, for my favorite addition to this update, um, there is actually now an option for the kill sound to be changed from the current one, which is a BF1 remake, the original Battlefield 5 kill sound from 2018, or you could just turn it off completely. Now, I know many people are going to, you know, leave at the Battlefield 1 kill sound, but for me, I'm going to change it back to the Battlefield 5 kill sound because for some reason, I find it more satisfying than the Battlefield 1 kill sound. I know that may trigger some people, but I don't know. I like how it's, you know, not that distracting while also, you know, it still sounds nice as well. So, yeah, there's my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully this helped you guys know more about the 6.2 update and hopefully you are excited for it. If you did enjoy, drop a like and subscribe as well and make sure to turn on post notifications as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.